So this video is going to be about Ivanka Trump. She's dumped her lawyers and it looks like she's uh, throwing her brothers under the bus. She's getting separate lawyers from the lawyers that her brothers have. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, the latest out is that Ivanka Trump has hired her own attorneys separate from the attorneys her brothers are using in the litigation that's coming up. So apparently she's decided, yeah, I don't want to be represented by that, that attorney. I want my own uh, special representation that can uh, keep my issues separate from, from those brothers. And she has clearly and thoroughly thrown her brothers under the bus with dad. That's what I think. So we'll see what the cards tell us. So this is a very interesting development. Uh, Ivanka Trump, well, you know, first of all, let's say this. Uh, Jared uh, came away from uh, the uh, Arab uh, uh, situation with $2 billion uh, given to him to uh, handle as investment. Ha! And, uh, and so now, Ivanka, we don't hear anything from her anymore. She's gone uh, under the radar. Um, she's involved in these lawsuits uh, against the Trump Corporation uh, where she and her brothers were officers of the corporation making decisions. And, you know, it may be that they weren't actually making the decisions, but they were signing saying that, yeah, they were these responsible people who were making those decisions. And I still think if you're signing uh, away your authority, uh, then you're responsible for what you uh, signed up for. So, yeah, and so the latest is that she's gone with a separate set of attorneys from her brothers just recently, uh, leaving them to fend for themselves, and she's going to look out for Ivanka. Smart move, by the way. So that's what we'll look at, uh, all of that. And uh, But first, before we do any of that, let's have just a moment, you know, of meditation. Something she should have done a long, long time ago. The, this this uh, presidency of Trump, uh, this whole um, uh, family conspiracy, this crime family, is going to be a huge part of American history for a long time, and it's sad. But I just see all the lawsuits that are being brought, all the controversy that he uh, caused in the White House and his family is causing with all of the lawsuits everywhere as defining boundaries. They're defining boundaries. Say, our democracy now has knows where the limits are. Okay, you can push this far and now there will be precedent set in the law as far as what uh, uh, people can do and how far our democracy will go and it had been defined because we had thought people would behave uh, in a, an honorable way. How foolish uh, was that to think, especially in this day and age. So the first thing I want to know is um, has she intentionally uh, decided to uh, try to make her brothers uh, take uh, her share of the blame? Three cards for that. One, two, and three. Has she intentionally decided that she's going to make sure that her brothers uh, absorb her share of the blame for all the dirty dealings that, that they all signed off on? First card, Eight of Gardens. So this is the Eight of Pentacles, and this is practicing your craft, getting it just right. And look at this like mad uh, scientist here, this, this alchemist trying to uh, uh, turn uh, uh, common metal into gold. So this is very telling because uh, this can never happen. Uh, the alchemist was a, a faulty 
uh, label. It was it was something that uh, turned out that wasn't true, that couldn't be proven. And so she uh, starts out as the Eight of Gardens, the Eight of Pentacles, typically practicing your craft, but in this case, to no good end, to no positive end for her. The middle card here is the Three of Tides. So this is the Three of Cups. So these are celebrations. This, for me, is the uh, the kids, the adult kids, her and her two brothers. Um, and who is um, the dark horse? Who is the white horse? And who is this uh, beautiful uh, bay that's uh, turned their back on the other two and is going off in the other direction? So what was uh, a, a three-way celebration has turned into two left to trample in that emotional uh, quagmire, and one is running off uh, uh, to save itself. The last card then is the chariot. And that's, these are things happening quickly at a rapid pace. It's a complicated card, this one in this Japarizzi uh, deck, because uh, if you have to look closely to see all the meanings in here. So the, you have a bicycle type apparatus that's uh, negotiating a tight wire, but it's, it's so complicated because you have a seat on top of the bicycle. It's counterweighted by another bicycle below. There's more uh, over here going on. So this chariot moving on is a very complicated and difficult, has a very complicated and difficult path to to take. So that's where she is. She's uh, trying to practice her uh, uh, alchemist uh, uh, uh profession uh, to no good end. She's leaving the other two to drown and uh, this path that she's trying to take is very complicated and uh, certainly uh, may uh, fall off the wire. Now Ivanka Trump, so we, this is telling me that yes, yeah, she is intentionally leaving her brothers to take her share of the blame. She's bailing on that. Now let's see, will she be successful in escaping uh, any um, significant prosecution in these regards. Will Ivanka Trump be um, uh, successful in escaping some sort of significant prosecution? Three cards. One, two, and three. Will she be successful in escaping significant prosecution? in these charges. You know, a fine here and there, but I mean like jail time or a huge fine. The Two of Gardens is trying to find that balance. Two Gardens or Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles is balancing those uh, values up in the air. So it is a, a job. And I'm going to tell you something. You can just juggle those items just so long and eventually some, something's going to fall. The next one up is the Nine of of tides. So this is the nine of cups. And this is just a huge uh, amount of emotional um, um, heavyweight uh, burden on you. Sometimes this one is called the uh, greedy merchant. And it's the person who's glad to display all of their cups of successes in the past. But we see in this card, it's represented by this woman watching that falling star. Okay. in just this landscape of dr drenched in uh, emotional uh, situation. And then the last one is this king of fire. Okay, being willing to burn it all down. Fire are wands, wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and she is the king of fire. She's willing to burn the whole thing down. So will she escape significant um, uh, judgment? Well, it's, it's a difficult uh, game to play and it can only be played for so long before one of those balls is going to drop. It's like wishing on a star and uh, and watching that falling star which will eventually come to no good end. And then the king of fire willing to burn it all down. It looks like she's got a good chance to, to suffer through this. I'm going to say she might escape any jail time. Okay. She, um, that's what that looks like to me. Penalties could be significant, but they've got $2 billion in the bank. So now let's do six cards on Ivanka's journey through all this litigation. I want to know if it can tell us how long will it take? Uh, will she, uh, be brought to justice? 
with her brothers. Uh, will she be made to pay a fine? How can the cards let us know about Ivanka's journey through all of this um, in the, the lawsuits against uh, the Trump Corporation involving her and her brother? Six cards. One. And remember, if you uh, want to know more about these cards, I'll talk about them more towards the end of the video and show you uh, a better example of all of them. And also, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. It means an awful lot to me. So, is this six? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. It is six. So, what can the cards tell us about this journey that uh, Ivanka is going to go through in this litigation? Oh, look at that. King of Fire. She is, I love when the cards repeat. It tells me they're listening to me. They know how I'm going to read a card, so they bring it back for clarity. So, yes, yeah, she's the King of Fire. She is willing to burn the whole thing down. The challenge to that, though, is this Queen of Winds. Winds are swords. The challenge to her being the King of Fire is the Queen of Swords, which are truth, justice, rules, and law. So the 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 not weak Queen of Swords is the challenge to this King who's willing to burn it all down. So she's not as strong as a King, but she's going to get some good blows in there. Swords being, you know, the truth, justice, rules, and law of the situation. So good against evil, her being evil and the lawsuit uh, being good. The basis of this is the King of Gardens. So of course it is. Uh, gardens are pentacles, King of Gardens. So the basis of this whole thing is that greedy king holding on to his money, holding on to his value. And the past of this thing is the Jester of Fire. So the Jester is, um, it fires uh, wands, actions, forward movement. And the Jester is kind of like a page. Just a, a diversion. The diversion is in the past and not uh, seen uh, seriously by the courts. In the sky of this uh, situation is justice. Love that. I mean, a better card couldn't have shown up. Justice is in the sky. That's what's being aimed for. And justice will prevail, obviously. And then the final outcome for Ivanka's journey then is strength. Very interesting. So she's not a weak woman. She's going to involve all the strength she can muster. I'm not going to take four more cards. I was, I was thinking about it, but no, I'm not going to do it. But we'll read, uh, read this again. So her journey through this litigation is going to be, she is the king of fire. She's willing to uh, burn the whole thing down. And her challenge is the truth, the justice, the rules, and the law. That's the challenge that she faces. But it's slightly can, can be slightly weaker than the king. I mean, he can get cut up. He can get beat up, but he may have leave with something uh, left in the end. Uh, stronger king is a little bit more than a queen. The basis of the whole thing was the king of pentacles wanting to hold on to all the value that you've got and not let anything go. And in the past with this gesture of fire, this gesture of wands, actions, forward movement, all of that uh, momentum is very weak and it's in the past. And in the sky at the most premium position is justice. Justice will rule. Um, remember, we're not always happy with the justice that rules. Sometimes we think more should have happened, but the justice that is fair is what will rule. And the key to this whole thing is her strength. If she can hold on to her strength, she will come out of this um, less scathed than otherwise. Very interesting. I always say the cards never lie. Now, I might get my interpretation wrong, and that's why I invite you to let me know what, how you interpret the cards uh, when you see them. That's very valid. Um, and also, you know, if you tell me what you want me to read on, I'll read on Yeah, I'm going to show you the cards now. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now, she's a Georgian artist. Georgia, not the United States. Georgia, Europe. Uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas. And uh, his story is interesting. And it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her. And uh, he's a fellow a couple years uh, younger than me, lives in New York. Uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner, and he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris about 2008, I think it was, where they uh, he she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years, I mean, since she was a child, and um, 
And so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished. And he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year. So she's probably got two years into the, all of these are full size, whatever full size is for her paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to, to um, spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like. And, um, and the only difficulty with cards like these, this kind of surrealist art, is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider Waite system is going to be. So they're beautiful cards, and I love using them. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now.